MGD family, I welcome our esteemed dignitaries. Today, we have gathered here to venerate the inspiring life of Rani Vidya Deviji, our former chairperson, and offer our soulful Vidyanjali to her. Rani Sahiba's warmth, graciousness, and down to earth persona will stay alive within us forever. May I invite Mrs. Jane Himmat Singh, Member Executive Committee, President MGD Girls Guild, and Founder Student of MGD School to speak a few words in memory of our beloved Rani Sahiba. Maharaj Jay Singh Ji, Kaur and Kaurani, Ajay Singh Ji, Principal Mrs. Mankotia, Kal Sangwan, and MGD family. Uh, today is a is a day that we are going to be celebrating Rani South and her uh, and her when, when she took over MGD and after Ratmata South is actually a celebration of what she did for the school and what she has brought the school up to. I have uh, known Rani Vidya Devi. She first came to Jaipur as Maharaj Jaisinghi is bride. That's a long time ago. And uh, Ratmata Sahiba took her under her wing and gradually gave her, introduced her to all the activities she was handling and was responsible for, like MGD school and SMS Vidyale, Chansoi school, and many of other activities that she was 
looking after. Rani Saiba started where Rajmata Saiba left. She carried forward her legacy admirably. Filling Rajmata Saiba's shoes was not an easy task. She did it in her own way, smoothly making the transition and fulfilling the confidence that was placed in her. I'll quote a line from Rajmata Saiba's biography. She said, quote, her quiet understanding and gentle approach is far more effective than my rather volatile reactions, unquote. And that's so true. In Rajmata Saiba, the things did go this way, but with Rani Saiba, things moved a little more smoothly. She steered MDD to better and greater heights. I've closely interacted with her with issues related to MDD. I found her very receptive, dedicated, and a committed person. Gentle, soft-spoken, but at the same time, very firm. She was no pushover. She had decided what she wanted to do, but she did it in a very nice way. You know? what? And she was a team player. We were a team together with Nirmala, Dulabji, Rani Saiba, and me. We meet quite often. And uh, Mara Jaisingji used to call us the MVD Mafia. <laughs> so I still remember that. And uh, one thing I really admired in her was her humility. She never pushed people around. She's very humble and in a little, in a way, very nicely, she got things the way they should have moved. Mm -hmm. What NGD is today is the legacy that Rani Salva has left behind. She was a great sport. She would wholeheartedly participate in NGD Girls Guild activities, made be the reunion facil facilitation assembly or lunch. At times in the evening, she would be on the dance floor rejoicing and mingling with the reunion batches. She, in her inimitable way, endeared herself to one and all. I will always treasure and cherish her memory. She will live in our hearts and minds always. Thank you, Jija. Rani Sahiba was surely charismatic. Her exemplary personality has made an indelible mark in our hearts. I now invite Mrs. Archana Esman Kotya, Principal MGD Girls School, to address the esteemed gathering here on this opportune occasion. Namaskar and good morning. Respected Maharaj Jaisinji, President Chairperson of MGD Girls School and Society. Mrs. Jane Himmat Singh, President of the MGD Girls Guild, Executive Member of MGD Board, Founder Student, Mrs. Nirmala Dhulabji, Board Member and Executive Committee Member of MGD Girls School, Rajkumar Ajay Singh Ji, Member of MGD Society, Raj Kumrani Amrita Kumari, Administrative Officer Colonel Sangwan, esteemed guests, distinguished members of the Executive Committee of MGD Girls Guild, my dear staff and students of MGD. Today is a special day. Today we all have gathered here to commemorate the memories of a very iconic person, Rani Vidya Deviji, who left for her heavenly abode last month, leaving a huge void in our lives. I remember when my mother passed away, somebody sent me a message which has stayed with me. It said, do not mourn that she is not there, but celebrate that she was. So as Mrs. Himmat Singh also said, we celebrate the fact that she was amongst us, that she enriched our lives with her warmth, her beautiful smile, her charismatic personality, and her empathy. We celebrate the fact that she was part of MGB, that she was our guiding star, our North Star. And 
true to that, in her memory, we are going to host an inter-school event annually, Rani Vidya Devi Memorial Inter-School Fest, which will comprise of all the activities ranging from science and technology to art, music, literature, quiz, general knowledge, etc. And keeping the same sentiment in mind. We also felt that we should compile all the beautiful heartfelt messages that we received. We wanted to string it together into a beautiful pearl necklace befitting a queen. And messages came from all over the world, all quarters of the world. So today we have the release of the digital version of this compilation of beautiful messages, orient memories, golden memories, which we are lovingly called, we are calling it Vidyanjali. As I was perusing through the various messages received, it struck to me that she bonded with everybody in diverse ways. She had a connection with all of us, whether we met her for a longer duration or even if it was a brief meeting, there was an instant bonding and she had impact on people in so many different ways. And as I was going through all these messages, layers of her personality kept unfolding and revealing to me like you know, beautiful uh, unfolding of the petals of a blooming flower. So I wish to share a few messages, although you all are going to read it later, but just to give you a glimpse of that multifaceted personality and how she uh, impacted our lives in small little ways sometimes or in major ways. So as Mrs. Hindat Singh already spoke so much about her, besides her sterling qualities, what also stood out that she was such a sporting person, taking part in all the MGD Guild activities and festivities and even dancing on the floor with the girls when they asked her to do that. Mrs. Dulnabji remembers that despite the age difference, she found a close friend and confidant in her. Maharani Uttara Devi of Kota reminisces about how they were childhood friends and that right from a young age, she was a very clever and intelligent person. And the Princess Urvashi Devi of Barya recalls how much they laughed together and that laughter still rings in her ears. General Nalotra bonds with her about his visits to her ancestral place, Jubal, in Himachal. And they would converse in Nepali, which she had picked up in when she was studying in Darjeeling. Miss Madhuanti Singh very rightly points out an institution has gone. While Miss Suniti Sharma, former principal, admires her deep understanding of education. Colonel Sangwan aptly describes her as an apostle of humanity with a cheerful disposition and pleasant positive approach. Mrs. Chandralekha Mathur mentions how she fulfilled the role assigned to her by Rajmata with much aplomb and dexterity. Mrs. Pramit Thangarod, our school coordinator, is pleasantly surprised when during the inauguration of the Shrijan lab, Rani Saiba amazed her with her knowledge of science and latest innovations. Ms. Benupuri, our prep coordinator, beautifully remembers Rani Saiba narrating personal incidents and recalls 
her eyes sparkling with fondness while speaking about Rajkumar Ajayasinghe. Dr. Anu Mathur remembers her describing the importance of Kejri trees during a round square conference. Ms. Jerry Goel can never forget how she was introduced when she went to SMS for a recruitment that she is our star. Dr. Rashmi Parikh yaad karti hai wo unke shod prabandhan par puche gaye prashn aur us vaakye ko hamesha yaad rakhna unko bhot kulkit kar deta hai. And her down to earth persona is described by Dr. Ratna Sharma who says एक खासियत थी रानी साहिबा में जब भी वो हम लोगों से मिली तो ऐसा महसूस नहीं हुआ कि हम एक राज घराने की शख्सियत से मिल रहे हैं द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एम जी टी हैव ऑल स्पोकन अबाउट हर देव एडमायर्ड हर अडोर्ड हर देव बिल इंस्पायर्ड बाय हर एंड देव रिटर्न सम स्टैंडिंग वर्ड्स एक्सप्रेसिंग देर सोल ग्रेट सोल्स डाई and our reality bound to them takes leave of us. Our souls dependent upon their nurture, now shrink our minds, wizened, formed, informed by their radiance, fall away. Tipali Sharma sundar shabdo mein lukti hai, aisa lagta hai ki vinamrata, agar insaan ka roop le de, to aapki hi chali bani. मिस विजयश्री मिश्रा का कहना है कि राजसी शान और सहज व्यक्तित्व का एक अनोखा मिश्रण है एंड आई सो डू अग्री विथ डॉक्टर स्वप्ना चंद्रा इफ विशेज कम ट्रू ओ आई विश देर वॉज एटलीस्ट अ पोस्टल डिपार्टमेंट इन हेवन वी कुड राइट एंड टेल यू ऑफ द माइल स्टोन क्रॉस बाय एम जी जेम्स एंड टेल्स ऑफ न्यूमरस अदर्स inspired right and before i conclude i dedicate some words to her and it comes straight from my heart ode to a beautiful soul rani vidya devi a smile on her benign countenance grace personified i encounter her for the first time and am awed by the dignified simplicity a perfect example of a gentle leader her understated dynamism was felt rather than seen she charmed her way into the hearts of all just like the iridescent petals of a freshly bloomed flower which twinkle in her eyes as the effervescent evening star No one who ever met her came away without being allured by the fragrance of her soul. She breathed into MGT like a breath of fresh air, a softly blowing zephyr which soothes and calms the turbulent ministrations of every day. The light banter shared with her, the serious discussions. the routine deliberations she would be polite yet firm patiently listening serious still with a sprinkling of humor effectively handling issues with finesse and elegance it was not for her to be pretentious for she spoke from the heart over time little did i realize when the state authority as a board member just melted away like the crisp winter sun stealthily melting the frigid snow flakes and i found in her a guide a mentor and a kind hearted soul her tiny person loves whether writing in joy on my request for leave or her concern for safety during the pandemic times or the very last note i received from her you have been remarkable as a principal leaves me teary eyed 
all indelib indelibly inked on the horizons of my being. We were shocked, yet impressed and overwhelmed. When she stoically revealed about her ailment, her courage, her voice, and a sense of humor firmly in place. Even in the months of suffering, she taught us lessons what true resilience is. No self-pity expressed, no sympathy expected. She sailed through with dignity. Such elegance, such refinement, rarely found. She is not there, yet she is there. In the winsome smiles of the little girls, in the aspirations and dreams of the older ones, in the hearts and minds of the MGP family, in the benevolent shade of the tree she planted, in the fresh smell of rain in the rose garden, in the prancing of the peacocks and the sprint of the squirrels, in the warbling of the birds, in the delightful unfolding florets under the crisp winter sun. No, she is not gone. She is there in the very soul and spirit of this beneficent institution, deciding forever and ever. Thank you, ma'am. Rani Sahiba has been our guiding light and will continue to be so. May I now take this opportunity to invite His Highness Maharaj Jai Singh Ji, Chairperson MGD Girls School, to release the newsletter compiled by the MGD Girls School dedicated to our dear Rani Sahiba, Oriat Memories with Dhyanjali. Member Executive Committee, President MGD Girls Guild, Founder Student of MGD School, and Mrs. Archana Esman Kotia, Principal MGD Girls School Jaipur, to release the digital version of Oriat Memories with Yanchi.
Thank you, ma'am. Rani Sahiba's never ending legacy will always keep inspiring us. Her grace, soulful beauty, splendid smile, and dynamic personality will always guide us, and she will live in all of us forever. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank everyone for organizing today's event. Good morning. On behalf of my father in law, Maharaj Jai Singh, my husband, RK Jai Singh, and myself, I'm announcing the Rani Vidya Devi Scholarship for promoting excellence in higher education for girls. Thank you. On behalf of the school, I thank Maharaj Jai Singh Ji, Raj Maharaj Jai Singh Ji, and Kograni Ambika Kumari for uh, establishing this scholarship for uh, in pursuit of. Uh, education in higher study, whether it is higher studies, it is very important that we encourage our daughters to take up education in the true sense of the word. So thank you so much for this scholarship. Thank you. Take up education in the true sense of the word. So thank you so much for this scholarship. Thank you. A life that touches others goes on forever. May I take this opportunity to propose the word of thanks to our dignitaries and everyone present here. I thank you all for joining us today for Vidyanjali. It is rightly said that wherever a beautiful soul has been, there is a train of beautiful memories. <laughs> Rani Sahiba, the epitome of empathy and encouragement, was a true visionary and an icon of intelligence and modernity. She has always been a colossal source of incessant support in all our endeavors. She will be here in our hearts always. I would like to thank everyone present here for creating the occasion and who have been kind enough to send their messages for the dungeon. We thank all of you for joining us today and showing your support. Thank you, everyone. I now request the dignitaries to join us today at the school library.